Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create hand drawing picture effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful hand drawing picture effect you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, a hand comes, draws an oval which gets filled with a picture. It's a very beautiful effect to learn because once you know how to create this effect, then you can arrange three photos and can have the explanation of each of the photos coming in at the bottom. There are quite a few interesting variations you can create with this simple technique. So let me show you how to create this beautiful technique from scratch. There are a couple of things that you require to create this effect. The first one is a photo which is cropped in a circular shape. You can always go to YouTube and find this tutorial called PowerPoint Crop Picture in Circular Shape under Effects Series. Or you can find this video which gives you a super easy trick to crop a picture in PowerPoint. Go and refer to either of these videos to learn how exactly to crop a picture in a circular shape. Once you are done, then the other thing that we require is the picture of a hand. Now with these two assets in place, let me show you how to create the effect. Now what I'm going to do is to go to home tab of PowerPoint ribbon, go to auto shapes menu and then under basic shapes, I'm going to pick up a tool called donut tool or circle hollow. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle. Now we need to have this circle align with the earlier photo. So I'm going to select this circle that we just drew and the photo that we had earlier. Go to arrange, align and say align center and then go to arrange, align and say align middle. So the earlier photo is smack in the middle of the new hollow circle that we just created. Then we're going to select the hollow circle. I'm going to click on this yellow button here and I'm going to move this outside so that it forms the rim around the photo that I have already cropped in a circular shape. Now to differentiate this in a different color, I'm going to have this maybe in a red color and I'm going to have no outline. Next it is time to animate. So I'm going to select this hand and I'm going to go to animations and go to the animations pane so I can have the animation pane open. And the way it is going to enter the scene is through an effect called float in entrance animation effect. Naturally, this is way too slow because that is the default timing. I'm going to have that come very quickly. So I'm going to say 0.5 seconds as the entrance animation time. Now, once this is done, the next thing that is going to happen is we are going to have this circle draw itself. And the way it is going to be done is by way of an animation under entrance animation, which is called as wheel. Now that is how the animation is going to work. And if you've not got this particular type of animation, then probably you may have to go to effect options and choose one spoke uh, wheel animation. And once that is done, we are going to see what the time of this animation is. It is uh, the duration is two seconds. We are going to have that reduced to one and a half seconds. And now with that done, I'm going to animate this hand to ensure that it looks like it is drawing the circle that we have already got in place. The way we are going to do that is we are going to add a circle animation to this picture. So let us go to add animation after selecting this one, go to more motion paths and then click on circle and say, okay. Now you can see that this hand is moving in a circular shape. Now, naturally the size of this circle is not the same as the size of this one. So we need to ensure that they both are matched. So we are going to place this right here and we are going to adjust the shape of this ellipse to match the earlier circle. So I'm going to click on the shape here and I'm going to drag it out by clicking on the white squares. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. So it is pretty much there. I just need to make a few minor adjustments and we have got it in place. Now we have got three animations. There is this hand that is going to enter with a float in animation after that. So that means we are going to say this is after previous. After that, this circle is going to enter the scene with wheel animation. 
and it is going to appear as if this hand is drawing it and therefore we added the circle animation and this is going to happen with previous and normally whenever you see the way the motion path animation works it is slightly slower than what appears here in the timing so we need to adjust the timing of this to be slightly faster than the wheel animation earlier so i'm going to go here and reduce the duration to 1.25 remember this one is 1.5 and this one is 1.25 and i'm also going to go to the small arrow here on the right hand side go to effect options and i'm going to have no smooth start and smooth end and i'm going to say okay now that is beautiful now you would see that the trajectory of this hand movement is not aligned with this particular circle and we need to fix that to do that i'm going to uh, click on this image and i'm going to have this one open so when i click on this animation event you can see that there is a preview of this picture that is shown and that tells you where exactly the animation is going to play from so we need to have this pointed tip to match this particular white circle so i'm going to move this yeah now you can see that the tip of the pen here of the preview is right at the center of the earlier circle now this is perfect now with this done the one final thing we need is to have this hand go out of the scene and the way that we are going to do is add animation and we are going to have exit effects and the exit effect that i'm going to use is fly out animation and this is going to happen after previous now so far what we've got is a hand comes in draws the circle and goes out now we need to have this photo fade into the scene so that so that it looks like the hand has brought in that photo so i'm going to select this photo and i'm going to say fade and it is going to happen with previous so as this hand goes out this picture fades in now let me give you a quick synopsis of all these animation events in plain english on a click a hand enters the scene and then the circle is drawn by the hand and then after that this hand leaves the scene while this picture gets faded in now let us go to the slideshow and see how the animation works on a click you have the hand come in draw and then the photo appears it's a beautiful animation isn't it it's a very useful animation to learn and it gives you a whole lot of ideas about how the various animations work together it tells you what type of animation to use how to sequence the animations how to ensure that the timing of the animations match and when do you need to have no smooth start and no smooth end and a whole bunch of adjustments that we have made to make this particular animation work you see i really want you to be good with powerpoint custom animation but then with these kind of free tutorials there is only so much i can do if you really want to master custom animation in powerpoint you need to sign up to a structured training program like ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program inside the program i have a whole section dedicated to custom animation which has a staggering 110 step by step video tutorials on custom animation that teach you all there is to know about custom animation in powerpoint by the time you go through the section i am confident that you will be confident about your powerpoint animation skills you can always click on the link below in the description area to know more about ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program and by the way as a thank you gift for watching this video this far i have put together a useful free mini training called learn 25 creative powerpoint ideas to make your slides slick and interesting if you're a business owner an executive a trainer or a consultant you will find this 25 creative ideas extremely useful you can sign up for the free mini training by clicking on the button here i'll also leave a link to the mini training in the description area below this video So please sign up and I'll see you inside the mini training